Hey, there I am, making another video. Uh, which is good, because then Molly can legitimize making more videos, because there's one in between her videos. So, don't be afraid of spamming us, we love it. Even though, well, I'm speaking for myself here, because I have the time to watch them. But, um, yeah. On my account, do not stop. Your videos are always fun, and, and entertaining, and very interesting. And, well, I like you, so... Keep making videos. You're awesome. Um, okay, I kind of have a story to tell you about an odyssey that I, uh, experienced last night, but, um, I'm gonna do this in another video, I think, because now I want to do the whole, um, uh, you know, tell simple things, um, thing. Yeah. By the way, I'm sitting here, huddled in my very very comfortable and I have yet to figure out how to clean it kind of wool thingy it's awesome it's completely oversized and it's missing the zipper you know the thing to actually zip it with but it's great I bought it on this hippie festival that I'm definitely going to go to this year again so that's great yeah it's been a bit of a messy day so I'm very glad I have this comfortable uh, okay, challenge. Yay. And think I'm cheerful again. Very cheerful. Awesome. Yeah. Um, let's just start with... I've already told you my favorite color. <laughs> really, I did. It's color. And if I have to you know, be more specific, it's green. Like yours. <laughs> already told you that in my first video. Mm. Um, I have a cat. You know that? Because <laughs> um, I, I keep showing it. Because it keeps sitting on my bed. Named Luna. So, awesome name. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I have tons of favorite movies. So, but first of all, I thought your favorite movie was Top Hat. You said it. You said that. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna start. Because there are several things I have to say. Well, um, I've already told you my favorite book. Mm, that was Nick Hornby's A Long Way Down. And um, now I'm going to show you my second favorite book. I Actually, a series of books. So, okay, Harry Potter doesn't count. But um, this one's really awesome. See that? You do have that book in the U.S. I know that because there was a movie. And um, that was from somewhere, but I'm pretty sure you have it. It's called Ink Heart um, by Cornelia Funke. I'm pretty sure you pronounce it differently. I'm not even going to try. Um, yeah, this is the second book in the series, which is my absolute favorite. The third is awesome, too. The first, not so much. Because the second and the third actually take place in the world that is described there. And, um, the reason why this is one of my, <sighs> it's actually the book I always want to read every single day of my life, because it makes me so grateful for having a book with me. It's just, yeah, it makes me grateful, because it's, it's like a big love letter to reading and to the magic of words and of the worlds behind the words, so, I, I just really love that. Oh my god, here's a mess. Look, what's that? I have no idea what that is. Forget it. Um, yeah, so. Second part of the series, Ink Heart. Um, read it. It's really good. If you can get past the first book, which you have to read, but it's not as good. So, yeah. Do that. Totally telling you to do that, because it's great. Okay, um, favorite musical. I'm just going to start with that, because that's kind of simple. Already told you. No brainer. Um, and this one. I happen to know that you don't know this uh, that much, even though there was a Broadway, Broadway ver version. Jesus. Um, but, it's awesome. Tanz der Vampire. It's not 
Twilight. It's not Twilight, okay? It's so much better. And it's the reason why why I legitimately love vampires. And I kind of hate the hype that is going on right now because it makes my love for them so phony. And like, I'm, t I'm just following a trend? I'm not. I set the trends. I started wearing a leather jacket and all of a sudden everyone had a leather jacket. Yeah. Probably a coincidence. But it's true. Also, I think I owe you an, an apology and an explanation for the Twilight book in my room. Actually, I was pretty much the first person in Germany to read that book, and only because I thought, Oh my god, it has vampires. I love vampires. I'm gonna read that. And truth to be told, I did enjoy it. I, I enjoyed every book of the series. Um, because it's fun and easy to read and really not that complicated. It's good if you want to shut your mind off, so I'm really, well, I kind of, I've grown to hate it now because of the whole, and just for the record, uh, that, that guy in the movie, that is not Edward, and I don't even like Edward because he's a cheesy bastard, but, um, oh my god, I just read it about Twilight, I'm so sorry, but we had a high school musical discussion, so. That's what you get for that. I don't like High School Musical. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, I'm not a big fan, but I liked it before the hype, so that legitimizes that. That was a three-minute trend. Oh my god. Um, okay, next one. Favorite TV shows already told you. Favorite TV show would be Grey's Anatomy. Um, yeah, because it's just generally awesome. It's you know, we're at seventh season now, it still blows my mind every single episode. How good the writing is, how awesome the character development is, and the sense of humor that is coupled with the true tragic of, of things. Um, the awesome medical cases, I am really a junkie where that is concerned, so that's really great. And uh, just the characters that feel like, you know, they're my friends. I just, I love them. I am Meredith, so, even though I don't like Derek, I am Meredith, so, Alex, Alex Karev, he's my man, god, he's perfect, he's just so screwed up, that's perfect, um, okay, I'm a sick person, um, moving on, uh, I've already told you I'm a total TV, TV junkie, movie junkie, TV show junkie, so I have several categories, which, which I have to tell you were my, uh, my favorites. Um, okay, first, my favorite love story sort of movie. Well, there are several thousands actually, but I should um, talk about this one. It's kind of a no-brainer too, because it's Baz Luhrmann, who's definitely you know, Rip Tim Burton, one of my favorite directors ever. He just has a way of using color, and and I just really love that. I love I love a director who's not scared of using color. And uh, this, I just love because uh, the acting in it is really awesome, and the music is perfect. And um, I love that they're using Shakespeare language, but that it's at this kind of cliched religious setting um, in modern time Verona so that's, that's I just I really love it it's, it's awesome and like I said I have many more other favorite romance things but um thought I should show you that my favorite movie series is not Harry Potter it that's the Lord of the Rings it's called the Herr der Ringe in German I watch it in English though I watch everything in English so how I taught myself to speak English. Well, Middle Earth is just pretty much my favorite place ever. Um, yeah, if I could choose to live in any world, it would be Middle Earth. I mean, I have literally everything Tolkien ever wrote, I think. No, I'm, I'm lacking the newest things, the latest, you know, the ones that have just been published. But, um, yeah, just, I am such a fan, 
and I don't say that as in a oh yeah I watched the movies yeah they're great but as an Amazon fan I even read you know and I've read before the movie so that's great um yeah my favorite movie period also impossible to determine because there are thousands well not thousands but around 50 um yeah, I, I basically just picked this one because I've mentioned it before, and um, it's one of the movies not a lot of people have seen, but that's actually really good, so I thought I should do that. Um, it's a Johnny Depp movie, Arizona Dream. I have a bit of a thing for Johnny Depp because he's such an awesome actor. I have the greatest respect for him. He's just so great. And the movie is so absurd, and I have no idea what it's about, and I love that. I, I can't even explain what I love about it. I think it's the soundtrack, and everything, and just the perfection of being so absurd. Um, but it's definitely something you should check out. Um, my last point when movies is concerned, well, this is actually about being a play. You know, I just... This is my favorite play. Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? And, um, I just, I love the movie version with Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor, because I'm a huge fan of theirs, and, um, uh, they're just fantastic in it. I mean, I don't necessarily agree to the way the movie was shot altogether, because it's not as perfect as the play has the ability to be, but... It's uh, it's really, really awesome and awe-inspiring, especially the acting. It's really, really great. Okay, that's that. Um, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, one last point. I do have a favorite animal. It's a desert fox, a fennec. I'm not sure you know it, but it's insanely cute. Looks like a little fox. Well, it is a desert fox, so that makes sense. And it has those giant ears, and it's beige, and it has huge eyes. Yeah. I'm sappy like that, but it's just my favorite animal. <laughs> okay, um, this has gone on for long enough, so goodbye, and uh, I'll show you my favorite food once I made it someday. Okay. Bye.